The title of this video is The Narcissistic Boss Babe Spanks the Smug Sigma. For her, the question was, who could she sleep with that would hurt the most? I'm telling the story of what happened when the Sigma played hardball with the narcissistic boss babe. She is outraged that the Sigma got away. In her mind, if there ever was a time for revenge sex, this was it. She was consumed by her desire for revenge, and she's willing to do whatever it takes to get it. She wants to be the center of attention, and she will do nothing that will prevent that. For her, the question was, who could she sleep with that would hurt the most? For her, having people talk about her was her goal. She had a plan. Her evil mind had talked the Sigma into a menage a trois. It wasn't too hard. She just got up close to him, touched him in a sensitive spot, and told him that she wanted to party. And if he wanted, she had a fabulous friend that she could bring. Of course, he said yes. This man was about to find out why you don't mess around with a boss, babe. They got something for you. She invited a woman who used to go out with the Sigma. Her name was Cindy. The boss babe's plan was to invite Cindy out for a girl's night out. Just the two of them. No mention of any clothes coming off. Now, Cindy has been taking care of her body. She's been eating right and spending time in the gym. She's changed since the last time the Sigma saw her. Boss Babe knew that she would get off watching the Sigma drool over Cindy's new body. Hmm. And this is where the nasty undercover manipulation happens. The Boss Babe spoke to Cindy's romantic interest. We'll call him Damon. Boss Babe told Damon that his girlfriend was loose and sleeping around with whoever she wanted to. Boss Babe also spread rumors that Sigma's cheating was the reason that they had broken up. And here come more lies and manipulation. Boss Babe told Damon that Cindy had asked her to come out and party with her at Sig Sigma's spot. They would be at Sigma's place on Friday, round 10. Boss Babe told Damon to come and park down the street where you can see me when I pull up and park. Then, when Cindy and I get out of the car, you can come over and talk to her. The narcissist boss base plan was to call Sigma when she and Cindy were nearby, and she would tell him that she needed his help with some packages in the car. And that's exactly what she did. The Sigma was a target, and his peace was about to be destroyed. She couldn't wait to see the look on Sigma's face when he sees how good Cindy looks. And now, he's really going to be ready to party. And he wouldn't know that her boyfriend was coming down the street. Let's look at what's going on in the minds of these people. The Sigma. He's the real target. He's about to be confronted by Damon, who thinks that his woman is coming to her old boyfriend's place for some freaky sex. The Sigma took one look at the boss babe, and he realized that he'd been set up. All of these people were in front of his home because of the boss babe, and he looked like a jerk who didn't know how to be discreet and handle his business. Poor Cindy. The last thing that she wanted was for her boyfriend to think that she was going by her exes for a menage a trois. She heard the Sigma tell her Damon that he didn't call her. The women set it up, he said. She and the boss babe were coming to my house to party. If they wanted to be with you, they would have called you. But they called me. Cindy, she feels like she was played. She was just hanging out with someone who was loose in the streets, and now she's guilty by association. Damon, he's out of his mind believing that his woman is doing this. She is inviting the town's loosest woman to come have sex with her and her ex. And he knows that the boss babe will be telling everybody about this. 
Man to man, he feels like he was, and he was, disrespected. Boss Babe is feeling that twisted satisfaction that she gets whenever she gets to see somebody's heart getting ridiculed and stomped on. She felt the thrill when she saw Damon fuming as he crossed the street to confront his woman. This was a narcissist's dream. A lot of confusion and nobody knows that she's the cause of it all. They'll figure that out later. This story of what happens when the Sigma got caught in a game of hardball with the narcissistic boss babe is a cautionary tale to let you know what can happen when one underestimates the cunning and deviousness of a master manipulator. Do you want to know what the Sigma did to deserve all this attention? Get the full story in the Alpha Learns Loving videos. It'll be called Why She Spanked Him, The Narcissistic Boss Babe and the Smug Sigma. I hope you got some benefit from this. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next video.